Hey guys, Anthony here with We Back Tesla, and today I wanted to just talk about Tesla's investor autonomy event that they had today. I got to listen to a little bit of it and I took down some notes, but I don't have a lot of time to make a video, so this is probably going to be unedited and raw. But if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos, please go check out our other ones. Consider subscribing and just leave a comment. Let's talk about this stuff. Um, so to Tesla's event today, uh, the first thing that I had picked up on was Elon had mentioned that as of 10 days ago, cars coming off the line have the new FSD chip, which I there was a lot of debate on when the FSD chip was actually starting to go into cars. So he said 10 days ago which means my car that we picked up on April 1st probably doesn't have it. Um, so if you didn't get a car that was produced within the past 10 days, you probably don't have the FSD chip either. But if you bought FSD, you're going to get the chip at some point. I don't, I don't know what the timeline looks like for that, but you're guaranteed to get the chip put into your car. Um, he also mentioned about the next generation FSD chip, but he, he didn't want to talk about it too much, but he said two to three years, it's about two to three years out and will be three times better. And he had mentioned that other companies, if they started now to create something similar, if they had the smartest people working on it, it'd probably take them about three years to get where they are today. So in essence, Tesla's like five plus years ahead of the competition, according to Elon. And I I fully believe that because these other car companies aren't aren't taking this stuff seriously with electric cars or just with autonomous cars. It's it's pretty crazy how far ahead Tesla seems to be. Um and one big part of that, which was my next point, was Tesla's data. Like they have these cars, these fleets, or this fleet of cars that's approaching half a million within the next year or two is going to be over a million and they just get data on a constant basis to better improve their software and they have they had talked about this triggering mechanism where they they can you know send out to the fleet of cars these are scenarios that we kind of struggle with so whenever you encounter these scenarios the car will will send that data and trigger a process of Tesla munching on that data, their neural network, and being able to just improve their ability to maneuver around certain situations, those edge cases, the weird things that happen, you know, while driving. And they have all these cars that just get that data on a constant loop on a daily basis. Like the the one example that just popped in my head was they were talking about navigating on auto autopilot. And that just recently rolled out over the next, uh, over the past few months. And their ability to just get real-time data over like a month and, and improve that to where they could do full self-driving with confirmation. And then like a month later, send a software update and they were ready for full self-driving or not full self-driving, autopilot on navigate on autopilot with confirmation versus no more confirmation necessary they said that they were getting like over a hundred thousand lane changes automatically happening without confirmation a day so they're getting data to see okay the car made these lane changes on its own how did it perform and how can we improve it um yeah so tesla's advantage in that realm of having these cars just mine this data and send scenarios that tesla cares about and wants to improve on back to tesla munch on it we get software updates our cars become better while every other car in the market can't do that no other car company can can do that and tesla is just light years ahead and they have the infrastructure the hardware the software and just they have the they just have it they they they're on the right track and I don't know, I, I see great things for them in the future. And I really hope that people start taking them seriously. I, I really hope that you guys, if you guys aren't never driven in a Tesla or been in one, I hope that you guys just go out and try to experience it. Go to your nearest Tesla store. Just ask someone who has a Tesla. Just say, hey man, what do you think about this car? 
you know, maybe they'll give you a ride. Maybe they'll just give you a small experience into it. Or maybe these kinds of videos that I'm hoping to produce and a lot of other people are producing can give some insight into how fantastic these cars are. Um, really, if you guys have any questions, I have a Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus, and I plan to make a ton of videos on this. Um, I have some video ideas that I want to try to tangibly, you know, interact with people locally here in Colorado and get people in these cars so that they can experience it and see, you know, the future of transportation. I truly believe this is it. But if you guys would please subscribe, um, if you're at all interested in this stuff, um, yeah, I'm just rambling now. Please subscribe. Thank you again for watching. I know this was just raw and just whatever, but this is my quick takeaway from today's event. Tesla is way ahead of the competition and their fleet of cars sending data, improving their hardware, software for the full self-driving. And then I didn't even get to the robo taxi stuff. I, I'm a little skeptical on the timeline. There's obviously Elon time, but I mean, I, I don't see any reason why it won't be here. Maybe it'll be four or five years. I don't know, but it's, it's coming and it's going to be fantastic. And as soon as it's here, all the other car companies, all there's going to be business models that are just going to probably crumble if they don't get on board with this kind of stuff. All right, I'm done rambling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.